Wizard. This story is about a young boy called Ling. He is a student of English and always arrives early to the classroom because he loves learning and he admires his teacher very much for his great looks and intelligence. Ling is eager to learn and he loves chatting and working with his fellow students. He is handsome and likes playing sports. He is always a hard worker and everyone in the class loves him, but he has one problem. The problem Ling has is asking the wrong questions. Ling loves making fun of others in the class and he is always playing tricks on other students. But one day he said to his teacher, You are very fat, can you see your toes? Ling did not realise that this handsome, kind and wonderful teacher was in fact a great wizard and his comment had made the teacher annoyed. The teacher used his vast intellectual mind to plot a devious plan. The teacher collected some ingredients from his cupboard. Mmm, rat's tails, frog's eyes and the foot of a gecko. That should do. Then he cast his spell. From me to you and you to me, we will see how happy you will be. Then he smiled and laughed maniacally. Later that day, Ling went to the hairdressers to have his hair cut. The hairdresser is also an English student of Mr. Paul, and so they knew each other. Usually, they put a bowl on Ling's head and cut around it, but on this occasion the bowl had broken. He sat down in the chair, closed his eyes and started to relax. Before long, he was in a deep sleep and dreaming about his teacher's lesson. He is so wonderful and handsome, I want to be just like him, he thought. When Ling opened his eyes, he could not believe what he was seeing. His hair was gone. The hairdresser had cut his hair very short and Ling was shocked. What have you done? Why did you cut my hair so short? he asked the girl. The girl was very confused. You said you wanted to look just like your English teacher, so that's what I did. I cut your hair just like his, she replied angrily while tapping her foot on the floor. Ling opened his eyes wide and realised that he had been talking in his sleep. Oh my, I don't look like him at all. He is striking and manly. I just look like a monk, he said in a very disappointed voice. He refused to pay for his haircut and then left the hairdressers. While walking down the road, he saw a sign. Free cakes and pastries. Mmm, yummy, he thought, while he rushed into the shop. Ling didn't even notice the time, but he had been eating for almost three hours. Cakes, biscuits, caramel and pies, sausage rolls, and he went so crazy that the baker had to pull a tinfoil tray out before he swallowed it. Over the next two days, Ling had gained about 20 kilograms from eating at the free baker's shop. He had become the baker's mascot, and people would come from near and far to watch him eating. During this time, his hair had not grown even a millimetre in length. The following Tuesday, Ling went to class late because he had to stop on the way to eat some cakes. As he entered the classroom, he heard a sound. Shh! Then everyone turned and looked at him. Ling felt very shy and embarrassed because all of the class were looking at him. Can you see your toes? One of them shouted. Why are you so fat? Another student asked. He even heard people muttering. He said his teacher was fat, and just look at him. Ling realised what he had said to the teacher was wrong, and he felt sympathy, not only for himself, but for all fat people. I am so sorry for being impolite to you. I will never do it again, I swear, he said to his teacher. The great wizard lifted the spell from Ling, and helped him to lose weight. Before long, his hair had grown normally and he was back to his old self again. But Ling never forgot his promise and never made fun of people again. The end. Thanks for listening. See you next time.